Hello everyone, all YouTubers and anamorphic shooters. So here is um, the finished product of the the wide angle lens variable diopter. So this is a um, this is a Century Precision Optics Pro DV 0.7 times wide angle converter. Um, so essentially, what I did is I went to my local machinist and we we had a helicoid built for this um, to work as a variable diopter. So there's the two elements sitting in the top part here, inside here, and then you got the one single um, other element in here. So I put uh, 77 millimeter male threads on the back, and this helicoid essentially screws into here, and then it gets locked in from this collar right here, so it doesn't fall off. And this was the best and cheapest uh, solution. So, whoopsies, sorry. Just have to put it in a bit more. There we go. There we go. So that just threads on like that, and it just has to be snug. And then essentially, um, the 77 millimeter male threads would be th threaded onto an FMJ for say example, so that's kind of what I'm going to go over and show you now, how it's going to work in setup. So this, you want to put this collar on here first. It just slides over top, so it's got, got a, a little bit of wiggle room there, in case if you have other applications. Um, I'm just going to take this part out because it's easier to explain. Um, and I just have a 3D, print as, uh, 3D printed focus uh, gear on it, so I kind of made it extra wide because to focus in and out, the, the actually the helicoid turns in and out, similar to the SLR Magic Range Finder. So, and uh, essentially how this is held into the helicoid is by six screws here, six tiny uh, screws here. And yeah, so let's kind of get this going here. So you want to put this on first. You want to put this on first and the 77 male threads. We'll go into the FMJ. So just like that. Okay. And then now this helicoid comes on here. Oh, whoopsies, it's not all the way tight. Hang on. There we go. Now this helicoid will come on here, and that does. You do have to. You don't have to find the stop for it. It's just because I'm taking this video kind of on an egg, a weird side angle. Okay, there you go. And this one does have the full 360 rotation. So, and you pretty much you do need this collar on here because otherwise the helicoid will fall off. So now we. So we put on kind of like the lock collar on the back side. There, and that's pretty much it. And that's the helicoid. So um, it gives full full coverage on lots of scopes. So there it is there. So you can kind of mark it yourself, I guess, in a sense. And yeah, but this has pretty much like a 360 full rotation almost. So here's kind of like the mark here. You kind of see a VER here and then if you were to go all the way out, it's pretty much, it's pretty well near a 360 degree rotation. So, um, yeah. And I have an ES Sinlux in here, so as you can kind of see, it gives full coverage on that scope because it's, uh, the size of the rear element is 68 millimeters. So it's fairly, it's fairly large. And you get a 0.7 wide angle as well for it. And I also have uh, test videos for that as well. So. Yeah, and that's that's all I want to show. That's how it works and how it's set up. So, and there it is here sitting on the FMJ. Okay, that's it. I'll kind of show you how it looks inside after focusing out. And that is it. So thanks for watching. Feel free to ask anything else. These are available. I have a few of them made. 
I'm selling them for 350 shipped, so feel free to message me, contact me anytime. You guys have yourself a good day. Thank you.